Yeah, she can ask me a question. So you, why do you like my teacher so much? Because he reminds you of... He reminds me of my friend. And you think he's cute? Yes. He's very cute. <laughs> My friend's very cute. Very nice. So I wanted, I, I actually, he sent out an invite last year. I knew him only three months, but I think I might have known him in energy in 2001. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I had this thing that came in, and I'm a clay wine. Mm -hmm. Are you a clay wine? No. So this being comes and asks me, would you be part of my vision? And, and I hesitated. I said, uh, let me think about it. And then my son said, Mom, I'm scared. He was in the crib. Uh, so then I actually wanted to put my <laughs> cover up on right. top of me and sleep. But because my son was saying, Mom, I'm scared. That's when it hit me. I actually wrote about it. It's, it's my poem in my 12-step program. Uh -huh. And so th actually I've been working on 12-step for a long time. Yeah, because yeah, I, I never, love. You never get through it all. There's always something else Yeah, that comes up. So this is called the affirmation of faith. Mm -hmm. This is what came to me after that episode of when, so like this one, mm -hmm. it says, when I look down at your baby eyes, it's on page 11, okay. uh, filled with trust and want to hold my hands because you're scared, I'm scared too. I instantly reach out and take your hand. With faith, I lift up my hand to hand me divine help as we have been believing we are healed. And actually, the joke is like, you know, at the same time, my mom is my guide. Mm -hmm. and she's also, I think, clear one. Mm -hmm. So before this being came, she came to me and she introduced me to another guy who calls himself Swami Beyond Ananda. Jesus. And he has a website called Wake Up Laughing. And he says, the pessimists always say the world is in, coming down. It's the ending. Optimistic, it appears that way because we are ascending. <laughs> so I, I, I actually, like that one. So the end, like you know, kind of like I, it is my own is. funny way yeah. of putting it together. I like that. Second so, so then when then I said like you know, when because of my son, I could understand. Hey, I need to be there for people who need me. It's not about me, right? So I said to him, I said I would be able to accept you and also she asked me to read up this saint called Anusuya who God himself asked her to come uh, like you know feed him so she agrees to feed him because he's a guest so she mm -hmm. she understands she needs to feed him but they want to play a trick on her so at the last minute this also my mom told me to read up before he appeared mm -hmm. so she kind of like one step ahead of me I think or mm -hmm. ahead of him right so um so the God says, I will eat your food provided you serve me naked. Ah, so she is very wise woman. So she thinks through and she goes to her highest self and she says, at what point is it okay to serve somebody naked? She says, oh, if he's my baby. The minute she thinks that, he becomes a baby. <laughs> no, sir. So... So then I told him, I will act up to you as my baby. So then I heard the whole room laugh. That's when I realized he was not alone. See, the thing is when in energy, you don't know they are alone or not. Right. You like assume they are alone. You right. Know? You're having a one on one relationship. Mm -hmm. Come to find out it's the like a show. Yeah. <laughs> I, room I know. So thank God. Like, you know, so that's when it hit me. Oh my God, I have no idea what I'm doing. But, that, but it was so much fun. So he played with me and stuff. And then afterwards, like, you know, he always kept engaging with me. Mm -hmm. And then he plays songs, like, you know, sometimes, like, you know, if I'm, if I'm not in a good space, mm -hmm. he'll make. But then eventually when I met, met him, uh, I totally fell in love with him. He's mm -hmm. such a cute guy. Yeah. But I also, like, he, when I asked him, can I be that saint, the girl who made, because he, he will ordain me, he said, the way I want it. He will give me any boon I want it. Because he mandated us to go last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when we went there, I went there because of him. Because mm -hmm. I, I could see the truth in him. And he was struggling alone, I felt. But maybe it's my illusion. Mm -hmm. He was fine by himself. But I went there because it looked like he was he was graduating a certain level. Uh -huh. So he was turning from 39 to 40. Spiritually, it's a big year it's mm -hmm. for saints. Because they once they transition, they cannot die for 126 years or something. That's why 
all the younger saints, they don't make it through. Mm-hmm. So I, he said, what a wound I asked, he will give. And I said, can I be that saint? He, I wanted to be ordained. Come to find out that girl is his sister in spirit. Uh-huh. So I didn't know that. But then afterwards, eventually, he like again connected with me. And every Saturday night, he plays with me. So the question I want to ask is, he is saying to run his vision of his program, I need to become Hindu. Mm-hmm. Which is not like my top priority mm-hmm. anyway. Because I would rather be 12 step. Mm-hmm. Because it's attraction rather than promotion. Right. But I don't want to promote any religion. Whether right. it's Christianity, Hindu. It doesn't matter to me. Right. Because for me, that's not my agenda anyway. Mm-hmm. Because I would rather be the hand that holds out. Correct. When somebody Helps. says, Mom, I'm scared. Yeah. We had a patient who was dying. They were playing drums. He got so freaked out. So I went and said, hey, here, hold my hand. I'm your mom. <laughs> and then his spirit calmed down. Yeah. I'd rather be that mother spirit. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. So it's, that's my agenda. Yes. So I feel, for a mother, mother, I don't need to care to be a religious. Yeah. yeah. doesn't I mean, matter who you believe in, what you believe in. So to you... come back to the question, if I become Hindu, would it freak you out? If Absolutely not. If you have a big forehead full of like this red stuff. No, no. looking spooky. No. In the store over where I, where I live and they get the big red thing on the thing and the god. And it doesn't scare you? No. That's their religion. Okay. They don't, they don't throw it at me. You know what I mean? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because Dr. Fogg, who is my previous colleague, he says, but Sue, you need a worried wealthy. You need people <laughs> like no, that so you can make money. Yeah. No, that doesn't bother me at all. Thanks. Thanks for answering my question. You're welcome.